What's up guys, it's Carabella. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about when we should be eating before or after your workout or maybe both. If you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell and let's get into this video. So when should we be eating, okay? Everybody wants to know this because we all wanna look our best and it depends on you actually. Are you trying to cut weight? Are you trying to gain weight? Are you trying to just stay fit? Are you just trying to stay like, thick? Are you trying to stay thin? What's your body goal? So once you know that, I think it's pretty easy to figure it out. It also depends on what time of the day you're working out. Are you an early bird? Are you a midday gym goer? Are you a night owl gym goer? Like what's your deal, yo? I think it definitely depends. So if you're going to the gym early in the morning, I cannot eat food early in the morning. I don't know about you, but if I'm going to the gym at 5 a.m., I would assume I'm not eating breakfast at that time. But this is the difference. So your body needs carbs, right? Your body burns carbs, that's how we get energy. If you go to the gym without carbs, like say you're like me and you don't eat breakfast and you don't really drink coffee. So you go to the gym and you haven't eaten anything, but your body still needs to perform, right? So your body's gonna pull from your body fat. It's gonna pull from the stored fat that you have and use that fat as energy. And that's why everybody wants to go to the gym on an empty stomach because, oh my God, if I go to the gym on an empty stomach, I'm gonna burn body fat and I'm gonna like not have body fat, right? No. So this is how it works. If you go to the gym before you eat anything, your body's gonna use that body fat. But after you go home and eat, your body knows it needs to store body fat because in case you just pull a move on it like you just did, it needs to have stored body fat. So it's gonna take the food that you eat and it's gonna store some of it in your body fat. So just because you go to the gym and you don't eat before you work out, doesn't mean your body fat percentage is gonna go down. I see a lot of people think this is gonna work and it's a misconception, it really is, because your body is a machine and it knows. It's so smart, it's crazy. It knows, literally, you're gonna pull a fast one on me again tomorrow and you're not gonna eat before you hit the gym, so I'm gonna store up a little bit more body fat and we're gonna be good to do that hard ass workout that we're gonna do in the morning and you're gonna have energy to get through it because I'm smart and I stored your body fat. That's how your body really is gonna work. So don't get it confused, don't get it don't get it twisted. You guys don't even know this because everybody's all about this. I'm trying to burn body fat. No, bitch, it doesn't work like that. So that's the first thing. If you work out in the early morning, drink a protein shake. If you're not trying to use your body fat, drink a protein shake and use that as carbs and just do your thing and you're still gonna burn body fat. You know, you're still gonna be healthy. So that's two options. Use your body fat or use carbohydrates. Next is an afternoon workout person. If you're working out in the afternoon, when I used to work out in the afternoon, I would eat an apple or two apples before I would work out. Apples are a great way to get some energy in your body, glucose, they're sugary, they're good for your body, and your body will use them as carbs also. Eat an apple before you work out, or even a banana is really good as well. And you'll also be able to get a really good workout in if you just have an apple or a banana. You won't feel sick, because sometimes if you eat too much, you'll feel sick, and you won't be sluggish either, because you cannot eat a full meal and then hit the gym. And if you don't have two hours to let your food digest, you just wanna eat like an apple or a banana, or maybe even like, if you're bulking, eat a cliff bar or a protein bar that won't give you like that weighed down extra sleepy feeling because you just ate a full meal. So those are two things you can do. If you're just trying to maintain weight, cut weight, eat the banana, eat the apple. If you're still bulking, drink a protein shake, eat a cliff bar, things like this. If you're going to the gym at night now, you should split up your meal. So if you have a dinner that's like 400 calories, eat half of it before you hit the gym and then half of it after you hit the gym. This is gonna give your body enough energy to get that really hard workout in, especially if you're bulking, you're gonna be working out really, really intensely. So eat before, two hours before, let the food digest so you don't get sick, and then use that energy in the gym and then right after you work out, you wanna feed those muscles give them amino acids, give them the food, do your thing, and this is really gonna help you bulk up. So I recommend eating half and half, 
when you're bulking. If you're not bulking, just eat after your workout at night because you want to eat before bed. A lot of people also get this confused. Oh my God, if I eat right before bed, I'm going to get fat and I'm going to have nightmares and there's all these things. It's crazy, but no. If you work out at night and then you eat and you go to sleep, your body's, your muscles are sore. Your muscles are working. You're, like I just said, your body's a machine. It's working throughout the night. It's taking those proteins and turning them into amino acids and it's pushing them to your muscles. Your muscles are growing, they're repairing, you're sleeping. It's a machine, you're not gonna get fat. Your body's gonna burn through all that food at night and guess what? You're gonna wake up feeling hungry. I know this as a fact, when I eat before bed, I wake up in the morning with hunger, pains. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so freaking hungry because my body just used up all that stuff throughout the night and it's even better because you're not being active. Like right now my mouth is moving, my arms are moving, my body's using other energy in other places. So while I'm sleeping and I have all that good food in my belly, all that good food and all that energy is just going to those muscles and you're gonna be able to repair, your recovery times are gonna go up and yes, it works like that. So definitely don't get it confused with all these fabs and all this shit. You can't eat before bed or you're gonna be like 300 pounds. It doesn't work like that, sweetie. Okay, on to the next thing. Do we need to be eating right after a workout? Okay, on to the next thing. Do we need to be eating right after the workout? Yes. And you'll find opposing articles on this all over the internet. Like, and that's how it is, you know? You've always got like, really good stuff and then really bad. There's always a contrast. So I'll link a few articles down below that say both arguments. So you guys can check them out for yourself. But I do, I eat right after I work out. Not because I think I'm gonna get like bigger or something like this, but because it helps with the recovery time. If you give your muscles what they need right after you work out, you're not gonna feel as sore for as long as you might. Your body's gonna be able to recover. You're gonna be able to have energy. Because if you think about it, if you work out really, really hard and then you don't eat, and I just go sit down and I'm working at my desk, I might feel really, really tired because my body is using all my energy or all the energy that I have left to try to repair all these muscles and I haven't given it any other energy. So it's kind of breaking itself down. And then I'm sitting there trying to get through my essay or something for school and I just feel so lethargic and like tired and just like bad. Well, because I didn't give my body anything it needed. So for me, I do eat right after I work out because of that recovery time and because I want my body to have energy. I want to revitalize it and I want to continue to have energy throughout the rest of the day. But there have been studies that show otherwise, that show no, it's not really that important, and yes, you can go on throughout the day without eating, blah, 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 blah. So I'll link those down below. You guys can check them out for yourself. And it also, mm, if you're not hungry after your workout and you're not super trying to like bulk up, then I wouldn't really stress it. Just eat like when you feel hungry. If you're just working out to stay in shape and that's your thing, then by all means, eat whenever you feel like it because it doesn't matter. And if you feel fine, it doesn't matter because everybody's body is different. If you can work out really, really hard and then continue your life and not eat for a few hours, kudos to you. Don't change anything. Like that's awesome. Your body has enough stored energy. But if you can't, I highly recommend you eat because that's just what your body needs. Your body is gonna tell you what it needs because your body knows and that's what you should listen to. Not everything that you read on the internet. All right, and the last thing I wanna talk about is muscle loss and muscle growth. So if you eat before and after you work out and you're bulking, you're gonna see more muscle growth. That's just how it is. If you're cutting and you eat before and after, you're gonna see less muscle loss. A lot of times it's hard for us to cut because you can lose muscle while you're cutting. And it sucks, it sucks so hard because you build this body when you're bulking and you're like, yes, but you just wanna shed off that little bit of fat and then you start cutting and then you lose some of that muscle mass and you can see it so clearly and you're just like, no. So 
What can really prevent that from happening is eating carbs and eating food before and after your workouts. So that's another thing to take into consideration, especially if you're bulking, of course you wanna eat before and after, that's just what your body needs, especially if you're bulking because you're lifting so much more weight and you're putting your body under so much more stress. So I hope this really helps you guys kind of fill in some of the blanks and kind of figure out like what you want for your body, where you're at and what you should be eating, when you should be eating, things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Also, if you want me to go in more depth and make another video on this, more specifically on what exactly to eat, maybe like a plan, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.